The skull protects the brain. Internally, the skull is shaped more or less as an astronaut's seat to smoothly accommodate the shape of the brain and its enveloping membranes. The interior of the skull has three levels. The anterior, the middle and the posterior cranial fossa. The brain is in contact with the outer world via blood vessels and nerves that run through openings in the skull base. Several of these openings can be seen in the 3D reconstruction. Conspicuously visible here is the dense apressus on the second cervical vertebra. These openings can be seen better in a real skull, so let's patch a real skull. The optic canal carries the optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery to the eye. The foramen ovale, rotundum and spinosum contain divisions of the trigeminal nerve. The internal acoustic porus carries the facial and the vestibulocochlear nerves. Venous blood leaves the skull via the jugular foramen and the same foramen carries also the 9th, the 10th and the 11th cranial nerves. The dura is attached to the inside of the skull, but at some points folds arise that divide the skull into three big compartments. The falx is a longitudinal dural fold that separates both cerebral hemispheres. A second fold, the tentorium, separates the cerebellum from the cerebral hemispheres. And as a result, only a small opening exists through which the cerebral hemispheres connect to the brainstem and to each other via the corpus callosum. In the horizontal MRI, the phallus can be seen easily, while the dura is only a very thin line. In the sagittal MRI, the phallus is only one pixel thick and it sweeps across the screen. Whoosh! The second of the meninges is the arachnoid. Like the grid shown here, it covers the brain, but it bridges the sulci. Here's a real preparation of the brain with the arachnoid intact. Under the arachnoid is the subarachnoidal space that contains blood vessels. The third of the meninges is the pia that sticks to the surface of the brain. So let's rehearse the meninges. The first of the meninges is the dura. This membrane is firmly attached to the inside of the skull. Then there is a space, the so-called subdural space, that separates the dura from the second meninges, which is the arachnoid. Beneath the arachnoid is a subarachnoidal space. And then, finally, there is the pia that adheres to the surface of the brain. <laughs>